right, so this says cross out the names that do not belong in the name collection box. Then add one more name. So we have to look for fractions that are equal to 5, 6. So we'll start, we have to look at each one. Um, 5 times 7 equals 35. And 6 times 7 equals 42. So 35, 40 seconds is good. 5 times nothing equals 31. So no, 5 times nothing uh, equals 16. That's not good. Uh, then we have... Let's see, 5 times 4 equals 20, 5 times 4 equals 20, and 6 times 4 equals 24. 20 24 is good. Um, 5 times nothing is going to equal 39, 5 times nothing is 34. So most of these names actually didn't belong. And then 6, this is 6 sevenths, that also does not belong. Okay, and so that's not good either. Uh, so now we have to draw something though that is good. How about we just draw a circle, we split it into six. Okay, and then we have to shade in five out of the six. You could do that, or you could do one, two, three, four, five, six. Color in five out of six. Anything like that would work. All right, list the fractions below that are greater than five twelfths. All right, it always helps me to have a, some kind of a map, a chart to see. Um, and I'm gonna just use this rectangle uh, sort of as a starting point for this. Split it into 12 parts. Okay. And one, two, three, five. Okay, and then I'm gonna color one, two, three, four, five. So basically I'm looking for something bigger than this much. Okay, so let's see what I've got over here. 13 twelfths, well that's bigger than 1 because it's all 12 parts plus another one. So that's definitely greater. And it says list, uh, you can just circle them. 1 eleventh, well 1 eleventh is just going to be a, well, if this were split into 11 parts, only one teeny tiny part of that, so no. 1 six. well if I split this into 6 parts, that'd be like one of these. One, two, three. so it'd be like this much, or a six, so no. Two ninths, that'd be like if the rectangle was split into nine parts, and then I take two of those parts, and so I can even draw it to help me see. It's the same size rectangle, except this time I split into nine parts. We say one, two, three, four, five parts, six parts, seven parts. Uh, how many parts do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I gotta go a little bit bigger, I guess. Nine. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's still gonna give me an idea. Two ninths. And that's this is on the big side, so that's no smaller than that. Three fourths. Three fourths is gonna be if I split the rectangle into four parts, the same rectangle. Split it into four. Can I color in three of those? Yep, definitely bigger. And then three tenths is the same rectangle. Remember, this is the one that I'm trying to match up. Same rectangle is split into ten parts. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I color in three of those. This is still bigger. So um, these two fractions are greater: thirteen twelfths and three fourths. All right. Now, for number 22, we have to shade the circles to match 37 eighths. So we need to shade in 37 of the eighths. So we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Another name for 37 eighths is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths. Four holes and five more eighths. Alright, shade the circles to match three and three quarters. So this is a hole. So three, okay, and then three quarters. I have to imagine the circle split up into quarters. I'm going to have to shade three of those quarters. One, two, three. Okay, write another name for three and three quarters. Um, it's going to be, if I want to do it in quarters, um, I could, but I'm going to do it actually in eighths because these, all these parts are in eighths. So 8, 16, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
eighths. If you wanted to do it into quarters, you could. That would be one quarter, two quarter, three quarter. And then each of these has four quarters in it. See that? So you have four quarters plus four quarters plus four quarters. That's 12, 13, 14, 15 quarters, 15 fourths. And look, if we do 15 times 2 and 4 times 2, we get 38. So you see it's the same actual number. So for another name for those, you could choose to do either. All right.